Angry Joe here, and as promised, I have Matt Turner, the producer for Army of Two, the 40th day. I have your community questions here, and I'm going to get him to answer a few. Is that cool with you? Absolutely. All right, guys, well, let's get right into this. All right, one of the questions that I got a lot from my community, and this came up time after time, was, I'll just come right out and say it, the AI in the first game for your buddy kind of sucked. <laughs> There wasn't a whole lot of good pathfinding. Are you doing anything in this game to improve it? Yeah, lots. So we took that okay. feedback that we got from the community about, about the partner AI and took it to heart and really went in there and tried to fix it and make it as, as good as people want it to be, what they would expect from a game like that. So we've really just taken it and giving him, giving him more of a character as he is in the environment. He's aware of his surroundings. He knows he's there. He knows where he's going. He, he will offer to do things for you. So he'll say, I'll, I'll boost you up here or we should go that way. And he'll kind of lead you at, at times. So he really has that kind of that, that sense of a, of a living, breathing character in the world, and uh, a more, a more uh, uh, satisfying experience for a player who's going to play with Awesome. I kind of felt the ending to the first game was a little bit anticlimactic and a little hands-off. I was sitting on my couch and I just, I said, that's it? <laughs> kind of looks like the end of the game. It cannot be the end of the game. You know, are you guys doing anything uh, to make this final battle epic? Yeah, well, in I, this know, game? I know exactly what you mean. Uh, that, that was definitely another criticism we got, which is, you know, the ending was kind of what you said. You know, what the hell? Yeah. That happened. Um, so I, I'm not going to go into it because the ending, uh, we've worked really hard on the ending right. this time around, and it's something that we took to heart again. I mean, uh -huh. will you be able to at least say whether it's interactive? It's definitely interactive. Okay. <laughs> it's very, very interactive. Because in the end of the first one, they had yeah. a guy and he was in a was, helicopter yeah. and he was shooting and uh -huh. it was just kind of a video. And no, I know exactly stuff. what you mean, but yeah. uh, no. I, Spoilers. I Sorry Spoil about that. No, no, no spoil <laughs> for the first one. For the yeah. first Spoiler, one. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of the game was weapon customization. The fact that you can pimp your weapons and add all these modular parts, but I felt it was kind of limited. You know, you only had a certain amount of weapons and only and some of them you couldn't even do the same types of modifications you can do to the other ones. Are you addressing anything? Absolutely. I mean, that, as you said, was a very popular feature. The mm -hmm. first one that was people love that kind of uh, that the freedom they had to take their guns and really make them what they wanted them to be. We took that kind of satisfaction out of it, and you know, people like that, and we really, really expanded on it and built it out a lot more. So kind of the, uh, the, 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 the thing we're saying for our new system is, is Lego with guns. So you can kind Excellent. of take any <laughs> single part of any gun yeah. and put it on any part of any other gun. Oh, really? Class. So you can kind of take okay, so you can take like a clip from an AK-47. Jam it on an M4 or whatever. And, and then there's other parts that, you can, that aren't part of the gun you find in the world. So there's additional parts that you can put on there as well. You can really take your gun and make your crazy Frankenstein creation that like represents you in that space as a player as well as just the way that it looks. So it's safe to say that there's a whole lot more customization. Oh, it's, it's a much Like for much example, more uh, pimping your weapon, there's more than one pimp. It's not just, a, it, we have uh, several different textures you can throw on there. You have camo <laughs> textures, you can do zebra print, you can do all kinds of stuff. So you can really take, take it to that next level and you can be silly about it and have a really ridiculous gun that doesn't make any sense or you can have you know, <laughs> that cool tactical you know, camo that I would like to yeah. with. I Jersey Kid asks, will we be able to take the ASKR1 online? Uh, well, it depends what you mean online. You can take it into a co-op game where you're going to play you know, the, the campaign in co-op, but the weapon system in the campaign and the multiplayer are independent, so the, AS, the ASKR1 is not oh, the, oh, come on. I'm sorry, now. I can't. Don't get, get angry. Don't get angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna butcher this name. 
Ne Neo Ren. Screw it, okay? It's just Neo. <laughs> drop in and drop out co-op mode. Is it there? We're, we're, we really want to make that co-op experience work really well. Yeah, and we're working on that. So we're, Are you serious? We, we've taken away the uh, the uh, the, uh, the, the the region lock. Mm -hmm. So if you live in Stockholm and you want to play with your buddy in San Diego, perfect. Yeah, that causes no problem a lot, whatsoever. Yeah. The drop-in, drop-out. We're working on that too. We want to have it in there as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, this is Nico. Nico asks, how long is the single-player mode this time? The last one felt a little on the short side. Yeah, that was another a good criticism we got. It was a little short. You could really power through it. Uh, this experience where it's going to be an 8 to 10 hour experience for your average player. If you're really good, maybe 7 to 8, who knows. If you're not very good, 10 to whenever you finish yeah. in a year's time. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we really want to get that, you know, that core 8 to 10 hour experience that has you know, the, 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 the depth and the meat that people really want when they get, when they get a shooter like this. Nevermind asks, any demos planned for the release? Uh, we're looking into it. Yeah, I mean, we haven't. Uh, it's not. It's not for sure yet. We're gonna see if it makes sense in the, in the market and how we want to put it out there. But the, the demo is definitely possible. Something uh, you're looking at. Something we're looking at. It's not for sure at all. All right. One last thing that I want to leave you with, and it's just a suggestion. Okay, <laughs> you can take it and run with it if you want. But uh, you got all these games offering crazier and crazier pre-orders and special edition bonuses. Batman with a Batarang, <laughs> uh, Modern Warfare 2 with Maybe. friggin' night vision That's goggles. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it is awesome, but uh, so, you know, you can't let those guys upstage you, man. Absolutely See, okay, not. so here's my suggestion. How about a real M4 assault rifle? <laughs> okay, just, all right, all right, don't, don't answer, don't answer. Shh, blink once if it's in the game. Blink, or, blink, blink, blink once if it will be available. I can't blink, I'm trying not to blink right now because that would be illegal. <laughs> oh, you blinked! I, I saw it. it! You heard it here, folks. Uh, on the Angry uh, no, Joe Show. No, no, I'm just... making good time. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk, uh, talk with us. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers. That was our interview with Matt Turner, producer for Army of Two, the 40th day. Now I've gotta say, I played the game for a couple hours, and I also played the original, and this sequel is improved in pretty much almost every aspect. I especially like that new weapon customization system, it's so deep. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing comes together in the end. And as for your contest winner, the ASKR1, unfortunately, it wasn't yet playable. In fact, the guys are still trying to figure out how to make our gun fit within the game. Our gun was just too badass for them, apparently. So I'm gonna need ideas. Now, I want, I know I want this gun to sound extremely unique. And I also want it to cause massive amounts of damage. What do you guys think should be the underslung attachment? Should it be a grenade launcher or just a shotgun? Leave your ideas in the comment system. In the meantime, Matt did have the time to send me over an in-game asset, and I'm gonna show that to you now. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. <laughs>